All right, guys, I am out today back in Pennsylvania. Uh, I sound like garbage because I feel like garbage. I just got back from graduating from college and uh, I've been on a bit of a bender. That's why you haven't seen many videos from me. Um, it's been finals and uh, festivities and uh, whatnot, but I'm finally wrapped up and I'm back home. Uh, very low energy, so tonight um, I'm just driving somewhere and on the way, figured I'd just stop at a few quick local spots, some good rocks and uh, flip for milk, so we'll see what we can find. Rocks are nice and warm. Let's see. Usually the good one. Oh, a ring neck. Nice. All right, gonna let this stinky little guy go. I just pulled him out so I didn't hurt him. I'll let him go back in his rock wall. Oh man, nothing. Just missed the flip clip, but big milk snake. Pretty cool. All right, so uh, I missed the clip on like that one rock that I wasn't filming for, but huge, huge old milk snake with some battle scars under that rock right there. Um, I got a picture of the in situ, which I can show now, um, but big, big old snake and uh, cranky. It's got some battle scars and whatnot, and it looks like it's gonna shed soon, but it's very, very strong, and you can see, like, man, look at that. Could even have a meal in it, but this is a very, very large milk snake. I'm gonna get some better footage of him right now. This thing is strong, large, and uncooperative as hell. It's got a nice pattern, but you can tell it's about to shed. Its belly scales are kind of muted, the bluish hue. I'm trying to see if I can get any of these injuries on footage. I mean, here's one in the stomach. That could be a lesion or some sort of, really just looks like a healing scab of some sort. And uh, man, I mean, look at the size of this. Oh no. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's like right on the vein. I don't want that there. Oh, gosh. Come on, buddy. Please. I knew that was coming at some point. Where's that injury I'm trying to show? You can just tell that this is a big old snake. I mean, it makes me wonder, have I seen this guy before? Um, I think I have not. I used to have a piece of cover right here, rubber mat, and uh, it's not there anymore. There's that injury, I guess. Oh, hope he's going for me again. Yikes. Wow, that hurts pretty bad, actually. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. These ones are starting to bleed a little bit. <laughs> All right, here you can see this old injury right here. Kind of interesting. Uh, healed up nicely, though. Let's get a little closer view of that face. Not a terrible looking snake, but definitely not the best milk I've ever seen. Here's my arm after Big Bertha here started to, uh, to gnaw on me. I'm going to let it go right back down in there. Big female, you can see, but uh, let her go back to her, her home. Maybe she's got a neighbor, honestly. Let's check this real quick. And that's a nope, but pretty cool. First real big one I've seen here since, oh uh, man, I don't know, like 2012 or something crazy like that. And let's just check this real quick. Nope. I'm usually hesitant to go through all this because uh, a lot of paper wasps, but uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. Yeah, okay, wow. Yeah, <laughs> you got me. As I've kind of exhausted my rocks, a lot of stuff has been kind of moved and uh, cleaned up, I guess, uh, which is fine because this is in a residential area and, uh, you know, just cool to be seeing anything. I'm going to pick this up tomorrow or the next day when I will hopefully be more well rested and <laughs> feeling a little bit better. So uh, I'll see you in a second. All right, folks. So uh, I am feeling a little bit better today. I've been in the hurt locker for several days with a pretty terrible cold. 
It's a little bit of a rainy day out. I'm out at some local boards because I uh, can't venture too far from home right now as I am in dire pain still, but definitely feeling much better. Pretty cool right behind me here actually, on the side of the road. We're just stopped and there is a female snapping turtle digging a nest. Um, I hope she's not too close to the road here and that she'll be all right, but uh, we're just gonna leave her to it and see what happens. Pretty cool though. All right, so uh, we're gonna go flip some boards. One of my boards was moved. Not exactly complaining. Huge spider. Uh, no snakes. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one can be good. Come on, come on. Nada. It's been moving my stuff around here. And I'm not sure if I like it. I kinda wanna... Oh. A lot of ants. All right, this one's ancient. So I don't know what to expect here. Nothing? Really? First, excuse me, first snake of the day. This is a little garter snake that was just in this pile of cinder blocks. Nothing too interesting. I'm gonna put them down. I was hoping for a milk snake in here though. This one could be good. Has been in the past. Are you kidding me? Alright, well it took forever, but uh under two side-by-side -side railroad ties we just flipped two little eastern milk snakes one in shed one not in shed both not crazy nice individuals but not bad definitely happy to see these guys and new snakes for me hopefully I'll see them again in the future pretty cool I'm gonna give you guys a closer look in a second This is the nicer of the two, because it's out of shed. So this one's got a cool spot behind the head. I like that. That's kind of something you see in coastals from time to time. But we are pretty far north from the Pine Barrens. Um, and these do not really look like coastals, especially color-wise. But definitely happy to see them. Very neat. This little guy started shedding in my hand. And look, look at his little muscles going like that, helping him self-shed. It looks much nicer under this, under this skin. We're gonna check him out in a sec here. Now check this out. Check out how much cleaner this guy looks. Now he's beautiful. Nice and red. Skin came right off him. Look at that. That's much nicer. We just happened to catch him right at the time when he was perfectly ready to shed. So I'm gonna take pictures of this guy and then his crusty, dusty friend over here. Whoop. All right, letting this little guy go. See you later, buddy. And we're gonna take some pictures of the redder one. This little bastard wins. He was a pain in the butt to photograph, so I'm gonna let him go. Right back under his little piece of crap. See you later, buddy. All right, so uh, we're probably gonna leave it off there for now. Um, as you can tell, I'm still a little bit sick, so I'm gonna call it a day. But tomorrow, I might be hitting up a little bit of the Pine Barrens, so uh, we'll see you then. All right, so after yesterday's little local excursion, I'm feeling a little bit better. And today I'm down in the Pine Barrens, as you can see, pine trees and stuff around me. 
Uh, we've got some really good weather, um, and I'm pretty optimistic that we're going to find something. So we're going to flip a lot of junk and see if we can turn up a king snake, a coastal, or really anything else. So I'll let you know. First snake of the day in situ. Coming out from under this board is a black racer. I'm going to see if I can grab him. Hopefully he's got a friend under here. A young racer. Oh man. He's moving. I think he may have gone right back under the board unless I lost him. But uh, not super high stakes. Let's see what we have here. Oh, there's the racer. Hey buddy. First snake of the day. Handsome little black racer. Angry little fella. Nice colors on this one though. At this age. Pretty neat. Good sign to see snakes out and about moving like this. Cool. I'm going to flip the rest of the cover and uh, see if there's anything else. Alright, I just let that racer go and he gave me a parting gift. A bunch of bites. Especially on my finger that I'm shooting with right now. But, uh, just flipped a little red-bellied snake. Nice. For a little next snake of the day. Pretty belly. A little over focus. Here's this guy a little more in focus. They're always nice and pretty like this. Got a bright salmon colored belly. Pretty neat. Well, let him go back under his board. Sweet. I love getting up in these piles. So you just kind of sift through them like this. I actually made this pile a lot better. Alright, so next snake of the day in this shingle pile is a little red-bellied snake. This one, not dark like the last one. This is kind of what they call cinnamon phase down here. Maybe not so much, but they can be pretty red on top. This one's kind of orangey or brown. But nice little snake. We're going to put him back into his little pile here. Oh, there we go. There we go, buddy. Now tell your milk snake friends to come eat you. All right, so flip this piece of tin. We got a little red bellied snake. Another one. Cute little guys. This one's got a really pretty stomach. Pretty neat. Nice gray one. I'm gonna put this snake right back under his tin. He can do what he's doing. Nope. Nah, 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 nah. All right, so I've kind of been having my butt handed to me out here. Um, I'm trying, but it's been tough today. A friend of mine got two real nice milks down further south for me, which is annoying because that's what I've mostly been looking for all day. But uh, I'm hoping I'll turn something up at this next spot here, so I'll let you know. Nice mouse nest under this one. I don't believe there's anyone home. Ugh. falling apart. 
Uh, this one needs a little more space under it. Should be good. Just flipped a toad, but more importantly, a red salamander. This guy seems to be very active, but pretty neat. Look at that. I'm gonna get a better look at this guy out of the sun for you. Look at that guy. I love these guys. Beautiful orange salamanders with dark spots. This guy's about to start moving. Pretty neat. I'm gonna let him go in a sec. Nice. Letting this little buddy go back under his this piece of cement here. Cool. Uh, it's something. I was just saying how one thing can happen to turn the whole day around, right? I said I'm waiting for that lucky thing. I don't want this guy to get off the road. Uh, I have no. These are an endangered species. This is a rattlesnake, pine barrens timber. I have no implements for getting this off the road and I'm not allowed to touch these in New Jersey um, and there really isn't too much of a need to but right here we have a Pine Barrens timber rattlesnake oh my god that's so crazy I was just saying that we just need one snake to turn the day around and I was just rambling about it how it could just happen and I was poking at some tree and I was like it just happens randomly and a bad day turns into a good day and I literally look up 10 yards from where I was doing that, and there's a rattlesnake crossing the road. Holy smokes. I'm gonna get some footage of this guy for you guys. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful snake. It's my first from this county, and this is a pretty rare county to find one in. And it's a pretty exceptional looking individual. I mean, nothing too crazy, but it's got some really nice yellows on it. That is just awesome. I, I really cannot believe the circumstances of this. Endangered species in New Jersey, really, really rare. So, so cool. And look, he's just got a little button for a rattle. Beautiful snake. Now he's actually coming right towards me. But see, he sees me now. He's gonna move right off the road. Really phenomenal. Thanks for your time, brother. Beautiful as a pine barrens tree frog calls in the background. This guy disappears off the road. Awesome. Just amazing. I was gonna let this guy on his way, which obviously I am, but I just, I was watching him and check this out. Look how he coiled, just on the side of the road there. He's very aware of us, but look at that. He's just coiled right in the undergrowth, right there, just a couple feet from the road. You'd walk by and you'd never see him, unless you had a really keen eye. But wow, what a beautiful, beautiful species. This guy was exceptionally calm um, and really just goes to show that they are just, you know, wanting to do their business out here and uh, don't mess with them and they won't mess with you. I'm gonna take a couple pictures of this guy as coiled because this is really neat. So uh, just a few more things to flip after that timber. Uh, high hopes for this one, be good. Looks good. Nice moisture under there. No snakes though. Got another over there. 
to hate myself later for walking through this crap. The ticks are not good this year. Look, I mean, there's a lone star tick. Jeez. All right, so uh, the rain just completely dumped on us and we knew that storms were coming eventually, so uh, not a surprise, but I think our day has come to an end. It was very cool to see that timber um, and uh, change clothes and everything to get all the ticks off. So we're gonna kick it home. I'm actually gonna come back down here tomorrow, I think, targeting milk snakes, this time with a vengeance. Uh, so we'll see what we can do. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this one. Uh, subscribe for more like this and uh, see you guys in the next video.